The loudest 7 points per game trophy has been handed out to Patrick Beverly for a few years, but Jose Alvarado of the New Orleans Pelicans is giving him a good run for his money. This award was clearly Alvarado's when he literally called out Pat Bev and said that while he's a similar player, he believes he's actually better. Now, Jose's becoming a big name in the NBA world, especially as of recent. He first went viral after this exchange with D'Angelo Russell in the middle of a Pels Wolves game. Can he shoot? Yes, I can shoot. Yeah, those are pretty big words for a dude shooting 29% from 3 and 68% from the free throw line, but I love the chatter. Now, if you haven't ever heard of Jose Alvarado, you might be wondering how this guy even went viral, other than for having a big mouth and making one funny play. Well, Alvarado, who was basically an unknown top 200 high school recruit that played four years in college before going undrafted and playing in the G League, has quickly turned around his career and has made his mark as maybe one of the more valuable backup point guards in the NBA. Jose's earned the nickname Grand Theft Alvarado for the steals he gets after inbound passes and rebounds by opposing players, where he will literally hide from the other team and sneak in to rip the ball out of their hands. That's some Pablo Prigioni stuff. These clips go viral every time, and these plays in a sense symbolize him as an overall player. He's gritty, somewhat annoying if you're playing against him, but most importantly, this guy just does everything for his team. He's not a terrific shooter, and he stands at just 5'11 in socks, and I could definitely see why you'd think he's arrogant after first hearing about him and some of the things that he said. And while it is true that he's a bit on the shorter end as far as basketball players go, and he has some work to do with his jumper, I think the man's just full of confidence and is deciding to not take any bit of his NBA career for granted because this guy making it this far and this early would have been considered nearly impossible by most people just a few years ago. He was a top 200 high school recruit out of Queens, New York. This guy was crossing over two guys at once, making speedy quick spin moves and already getting rough with his opponents. but. What really stood out was that this man just knew how to handle the ball. This high school kid just looked composed and he knew where to be and which passes to make and which decisions could potentially result in a turnover. You'll find this to be one of Jose's best traits, as today in the NBA his assist to turnover ratio of about 4 to 1 I believe tells you who this guy is as a player pretty accurately. In high school, we got the early signs that this man has floor general written all over him. He'd record the school's first ever quadruple double as he went for 10 steals along with 18 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. And over his senior season, he'd average about 18 points per game. But given his lack of size, scouts were a bit up and down on him. Depending on the recruiting service, you could have seen him ranked as low as a 3-star recruit. However, he'd take his scholarship offer to Georgia Tech, where he'd make an impact from the jump. As the team's starting point guard during his freshman season, Alvarado would put up about 12 points and nearly 2 steals on solid shooting splits, and despite dealing with several pretty major injuries in college, he'd improve on his game on a yearly basis. As a senior, he'd average 15 points and 4 assists, 3 steals on incredible efficiency for his size. Plus, he won the ACC's Defensive Player of the Year, which is wild for a guy of that stature. But with all of this good stuff, there were a few issues that NBA scouts noticed. Number one, the guy's under 6 feet tall without shoes, which in itself isn't that big of a deal, but he was inconsistent as a 3 point shooter throughout his career too, hitting 34% of his threes on average volume. Short with no 3 ball is a big problem in today's game. Maybe most importantly though was the fact that he was a 4 year guard who graduated college at 23. And if you know anything about NBA scouts, they drool over point guards just like Jose. Just they have to be teenagers. And with that, Jose found himself going undrafted in the 2021 NBA draft, but the Pelicans were quick to scoop him up to a 2 way contract. 
And I'd love to say that they did it because they saw something in him, but the truth is that he was pretty bad in the NBA Summer League. And throughout the Pelicans' first 35 games, he'd suit up just 8 times and the man was scrapping for minutes in the regular season. However, something would soon change. Jose played a few games with the Pelicans G League team in December, where he was playing out of his mind. He'd put up about 20 and 7 a game on 50-40 shooting. He tagged along about 3.5 assists as well, and it started to look like he may have been too good for the G League. The Pelicans G League team and the Birmingham squadron were an under 500 team without Jose this season in the G League, but they won all 5 games with him. So. While he was too good for the G League, there was doubt as to whether he could fit in with the group in New Orleans, but with what could have been his confidence driven from his play in the NBA's minor league, Jose began to ball out with the Pelicans, averaging about 8 points, 3.5 assists, and 1.5 steals, proving efficient as a score. Keep in mind, he was doing this playing under 20 minutes per game, and to be honest, the numbers don't tell the full story with Alvarado. You hear that all the time, but there's something different about Jose. He's one of those guys who just doesn't care about what's allowed and what's not. If he thinks it's going to help the team win, he's going to do it. This season, he's gotten into scrambles with some of the league's best players. After getting physical with Joel Embiid, he earned the big fella's respect which prompted him to pay for Jose's fine for the altercation. His love for the game and desire to make winning plays has led to great respect league-wide for Alvarado, and maybe more importantly, a four-year deal worth over $6 million from the Pelicans, which as of today looks like an absolute steal because I think we can all agree he's definitely worth quite a bit more. And he's showing his value to the entire world in the playoffs right now, where yes, the Pelicans are down 3-2, but as the 9 seed in a series that a panel of a bunch of ESPN experts predicted to be done after just 5 games maximum, I'd say that the Pelicans are doing quite well, and a lot of it can be credited to Jose Alvarado, who has been making some awesome plays and annoying the heck out of Chris Paul via his infamous sneaky steal and also causing him to get 8 second violations, and yes, that was multiple, plural, violations committed by one of the greatest point guards of all time because of that one sneaky and pesty dude. These types of plays just don't show in the box score, and Jose is making them all the time, bringing energy, defense, and grit to every possession, characteristics that will surely have him around the league for a very long time. Low key, the Pelicans have been making genius moves recently that should keep Zion Williamson content, and Alvarado is absolutely one of those guys. Now, if we're being real here, Jose probably doesn't have the most potential out of this rookie class. The 24 year old is easily one of the most impactful players of the class right now, and he'll make his mark for many, many years in the NBA, but he'll need to work on that jumper to find a role as a starter in this league then we can really talk about what his ceiling might be. But what I'm not about to do is doubt him in any single way, because for a player that proves so many people wrong time and time again, I don't want to be the next guy proved wrong. Yeah, not gonna be me. But anyways, that was Jose Alvarado, one of the NBA's most interesting young players, and certainly that'll be around for a long time. So if you don't like him, you're just gonna have to get used to him. I hope y'all enjoyed, have a blessed day everybody, and I'll catch you all in the next one.